What up, YouTube? Mike the Coder here. Today we are going to go over the next. Uh, actually, we skipped a few. Pro I'm gonna skip a few problems um, to creating strings because uh, the other two, um, I think, coin coin piles and uh, Tower of Hanoi are harder than creating strings. So I'll go over creating strings. Okay, given a string, your task is to generate all different strings that can be created with its characters. So essentially, you're just trying to print out all the possible permutations of the characters. So given a string a length of n, each character is between a to z. Um, uh, first print the letter k, the number of strings of that you could uh, print out, then print out k lines, the strings in alphabetical order. So if you look at the input a, a, b, a, c, right, this is like the, the uh, characters that you want. And now you what you do is you're going to print out all the possible of combinations, permutations, not combinations, my bad. Permutations of the string by reordering, which you could do. And uh, the total is 20 for this one. Okay, so how do you do this problem? This is actually really easy if you know how to use the STL library. So if you know how to use STL library in C++, it is very easy. You just, uh, first you would just sort the whole string, right, by alphabetically. So given the string of A, A, B, A, C, we're going to sort it, and then we get A, 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 B, C. And then after that, all you just have to do is you just have to call next permutations, passing in the string, and then it will just continually print out the next permutation for all the permutations. So that's all you have to do, actually. And I'll just show you guys the code because this is pretty easy. Okay, so here I have the string S, and then I just read an S, okay? So I have a string S, and I read an S, and then I just sort it. So I sort... Uh, s dot begin and s dot end and then i create a, a vector which is going to be kind of like an array of all the strings you could possibly do and then um i call it answer and then what i do is i do do while uh while there's a next permutation passing in s dot begin and s dot end which is going to push back s so what this code does is it just generates all the permutations and it adds it into our vector of answer okay and then after that, uh, we just print out the size of our answer, of our vector. And then we just, for each value, we're just going to print out the string for each value. So for auto x inside answer, we just print it out. Okay? So uh, that's legit the only thing you need to do in this code. Um, you don't need to do anything else. It's pretty easy. Um, if you want to code your own next permutation, that is harder. But uh, because we're using STL now, and we don't want to just uh, recreate the whole thing ourselves. Yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll re I'll do the other two problems that I skipped. I believe I'll do the uh, coin piles in uh, Tower of Hanoi later after this. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.